Welcome to the world of Venus flytraps. These fascinating plants are not just any ordinary greenery, they are nature's very own little hunters. Venus flytraps are so cool. They have evolved to thrive in nutrient-poor soil by catching and digesting insects. This unique adaptation makes them one of the most intriguing plants in the world. They are like something from a magical garden. Imagine walking through a lush, enchanted forest and stumbling upon these extraordinary plants, each one ready to snap shut on its unsuspecting prey. These plants are like little hunters. Their traps are designed to close quickly when triggered by the tiny hairs on their inner surfaces, ensuring that their prey has little chance of escape. They use their traps to catch insects. It's amazing to watch. The entire process, from the trap closing to the digestion of the insect, is a marvel of natural engineering. Venus flytraps come from wetlands. These environments provide the perfect conditions for their growth, with plenty of moisture and sunlight. These places are warm and humid. The high humidity and consistent temperatures of wetlands are ideal for Venus flytraps, allowing them to thrive and perform their insect-catching feats. But don't worry, you can grow them at home too. With the right care, you can create a mini wetland environment in your own home, perfect for these fascinating plants. With a little love, your Venus flytrap will thrive. Regular watering, plenty of sunlight, and a bit of patience are all you need to keep your plant happy and healthy. You'll love watching it grow. Seeing your Venus flytrap develop from a small plant into a full-grown insect catcher is a rewarding experience. Let's learn how to care for these amazing plants. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the world of Venus flytraps, exploring their care, feeding, and the best practices to ensure they flourish in your home. Venus flytraps need a special place to live. They like sunny spots. A sunny windowsill is perfect. These plants are picky about their soil. They need soil that drains well. Use a mix of peat moss and perlite. Don't use regular potting soil. It will hurt your plant. Choose a pot with drainage holes. This helps the water flow out. Water is important for Venus flytraps. They like to be moist, but not soggy. Use filtered water or rainwater. Tap water has things that can hurt your plant. Water your plant when the soil feels dry. Don't let the soil completely dry out. In the winter, your plant needs less water. Just keep the soil slightly damp. Section four, feeding your flytrap, a delicate dance. Venus flytraps get food from insects. These fascinating plants have evolved to thrive in nutrient-poor soil by catching and digesting insects. Their unique mechanism allows them to supplement their diet with the nutrients they need. They catch their own food. The trap closes quickly, often within a fraction of a second, ensuring the insect has little chance to escape. It's fun to watch them trap bugs. The process is not only fascinating, but also a testament to the wonders of nature. Each trap can only close a few times before it dies and is replaced by a new one. You don't need to feed your plant every day. Overfeeding can actually harm the plant. It's important to let the traps rest and not be constantly triggered. A few insects a month is enough. This ensures the plant gets the nutrients it needs without overburdening it. If your plant is outside, it will catch its own food. In its natural habitat, the Venus flytrap is adept at capturing prey, so you don't need to worry about feeding it. Don't feed your plant human food. Foods like meat or cheese can cause the traps to rot and harm the plant. It's not good for them. Human food lacks the specific nutrients that Venus flytraps need and can introduce harmful bacteria. Only give them live insects. Live prey ensures that the plant gets the right nutrients and the movement of the insect helps trigger the trap properly. Section five, troubleshooting, keeping your flytrap happy and healthy. Sometimes Venus flytraps can have problems. These fascinating plants known for their unique ability to catch and digest insects require specific care to thrive. If your plant's traps turn black, don't worry, this is normal. Black traps are often a sign that the trap has completed its life cycle or has caught something too large to digest. Just cut off the black parts. Use clean, sharp scissors to trim away the dead material. This not only keeps your plant looking tidy, but also prevents any potential mold or rot from spreading. This helps the plant stay healthy. Regular pruning encourages new growth and ensures that the plant's energy is directed towards maintaining its vibrant green traps. If your plant looks droopy, it might need more sun. Venus flytraps thrive in bright, indirect sunlight and need at least four, six hours of light each day. Move it to a brighter spot. 
A sunny windowsill or a well-lit area in your garden can make a big difference in your plant's health and vigor. With a little care, your Venus flytrap will be happy and healthy. Remember to keep the soil moist but not waterlogged, and use distilled or rainwater to avoid mineral buildup. Good luck growing your very own Venus flytrap. With patience and attention, you'll enjoy watching this remarkable plant flourish.